Hello people of the web and welcome back to Creator's Thoughts. This week's episode is actually inspired by my dear friend Tab. She's amazing and a pretty okay streamer too. Twitch.tv forward stroke Tab twice if you want to check her out. Anyway, enough with promoting my friends, on with the podcast. The topic, as you can probably tell from the title, is Twitch ads. For a long time, Twitch has shown ads to viewers that are not subscribed to a channel. Although, for the majority of Twitch's history, they only forced a fairly small number of ads per hour. Streamers were given the option of forcing ads and increasing regularity. These powers were useful, however, remained relatively unused because creators were only being given a very small income from ads that most thought did not compensate well enough to warrant risking viewers missing content, especially when ads replace the stream feed. As I'm sure many of you are aware, there has been a shake-up with ads of late. Twitch are clearly keen for more ads to be shown. The revenue split for creators has been increased, but in order to get that increase, the required higher ad counts per hour. This has been problematic for streamers. Why problematic? Well, in order to get the increased cut, streamers are required to have a minimum of three minutes of ads per hour. And while that doesn't sound like much, as it's only one minute of ads every 20 minutes, it's often received poorly. When ads haven't been worth running for most small streamers, the average Twitch user is used to ads being very infrequent. This noticeable increase can interrupt the viewing experience. And unlike YouTube videos, when the ads are done, you might have missed out on a key part of a conversation, an epic gaming moment, or even a punchline to a dad joke. And no one wants to miss out hearing a dad joke. Despite the revenue increase, most streamers are not going to make a significant income from ads. However, enduring those ads will help support streamers. I'd like to think that most viewers understand that if they can't or choose not to support by subscribing, their viewing of ads helps support the streamer. Sadly, not all viewers see it this way. I've seen viewers in Tabstream and my own complain. Oh, another ad! And I can't help but feel bad that their enjoyment has been impacted. I create content in the hope to please my viewers and improve their day. It bums me out to think of anything in my stream having the opposite effect. I know Tab and I both have felt the need to apologise for the ad interrupting the enjoyment. And deep down, I know I shouldn't feel that way. I put a lot of time and effort into creating content and building a community. Not everyone could subscribe, but I think watching a 30 second ad every 10 minutes is a fair exchange for the time and effort a streamer puts in. So what's the solution? Well, ads are here to stay. Twitch has made it perfectly clear that the service needs to be supported by subscriptions. And if a viewer doesn't subscribe, then ads are required to mitigate the cost of non-subscribers. In time, viewers will adjust and the new advert frequency will become the norm. But I think we can do a better job and help educate viewers. If you're a streamer and see someone complain about an advert, please explain that we understand ads interrupt the viewing experience but they are an essential part of Twitch and help support the platform and the creator that they're watching. Thank you for watching the ad. If you're a viewer that gets annoyed by ad frequency, know that watching supports the creator and voicing that frustration only serves to make the creator feel bad. I'd like to see adverts be less intrusive. By interrupting the broadcast, they can help to encourage people to subscribe, but it can also cause viewers to lose interest and leave. This isn't good for Twitch or streamers. I'm sure the ad space will continue to evolve. What do you think about the situation? What's next? Love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for listening. Bye bye now.